Kawhi Leonard is more important to his team. Everyone's going to get this wrong. As a matter of fact, Stephen A., I'd like you to start because my argument, I think, is going to anticipate yours, and I'd like to hear yours first. Well, I'll go first one this time. Listen, I, I think it's Luka, and I, think, I definitely think it's Luka because when I look at the Clippers, I see a team without Kawhi Leonard. Maybe not a championship team, maybe not a team that could win the whole thing, but I see a team that could get to the players. How do I know that? Because they just did. Without Kawhi. And Paul George. Remember, Max, you don't get to sit up there and omit Paul George from this equation because the equation, the question is about Kawhi Leonard. Sure. If they don't have Kawhi Leonard, but they have Paul George, and they still have Lou and Montrell's Harrell and, and Patrick Beverly and the crew, excuse me, I like them. I like the Clippers to be a middle-of-the-road Western Conference playoff team with Paul George, but without Kawhi Leonard. With Kawhi Leonard, they're obviously a top two title, top two, top three title contender. What the hell is the Dallas Mavericks without Luka Doncic? What are they? I'm sorry, I got news for you. 29, 9, and 8 on 46% shooting. He's your point guard. It's not just about his point numbers. Point forward, maybe. It's a, yeah, yeah, or whatever, whatever. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He's the point guard. That's what Rick Carlisle tells me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I woke up. I became a brighter coach, Stephen A., the day that I decided last February yeah, take to this. be exact. Take, <laughs> take the damn the ball. ball all the time. That's what <laughs> Rick Carlisle no told me. Okay, I gave him the ball. So we're not talking about a guy that's just averaging numbers. We're talking about everybody else's numbers know, right. are dictated by him. See, now, Dallas without Luka Doncic is a lottery team. Yep. With him, they are a playoff team. Without Kawhi Leonard, the Dallas, um, the Los Angeles Clippers are a playoff team, not a title contender. Without Luka, they're not even a playoff See, team. See, I, I knew that's the argument. Right. That, that's why everyone gets this wrong. First of all, let's look what happened last night. Sure. Because it came down to two players, really, going mm. back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. And you and Luca's clutch. Right. Luca's just clutch. But you just knew Kawhi was going to hit the shot that wins the game. Kawhi was not going to lose. His will to win is just different. That's one. Two. And, and, and they're both fantastic players. Kawhi's a much better defensive player. Yes. He's an all-time great defensively. Ooh. Okay. That's two. Three. The very argument, and this is really the, the, the crux of the argument. The very argument you're making, well, the Clippers make the playoffs anyway, probably, with Paul George. And what would Dallas be without Luka? In fact, the difference between being a non-playoff team to a playoff team is one thing, but it's a whole other thing to go from, like, a first-round exit-style playoff team to a champion. And that is really the premium that you're talking about with Kawhi. That's his importance. He takes you from a team that's fighting in the first round, maybe to advance, maybe not, to a team that is going to win the championship, or at the very least, be one of the two or three teams to really compete for it. That difference, that extra effort it takes, the marginal utility, so to speak, to get to that level makes Kawhi more important. Well, the reason why I disagree with you is because he was going against Kawhi. So when you sit up there and you point out the excellence of Kawhi combined with the will to win, et cetera, et cetera, well, what you didn't see from Luka may have been because it was against Kawhi. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say to you again is now we're talking about our priorities. I'm telling you that what you're pointing to may be the difference between a title contender and a champion. I'm telling you with Luka in Dallas, with or without him is the difference between relevance and complete yeah. irrelevance. That's, That's the, there's a difference to me. There's I, a huge I difference. I understand that. That's why I'm saying what you are saying, I think, is the intuitive point of view that most people will have. What I am saying about this is that's fine if the goal is to lose in the first round. Mm -hmm. Kawhi gets you a championship. Yeah. Here, watch this. Put Kawhi on a team, put Luka on a team, mm -hmm. right? Whatever else you have, you're probably going to make well, the playoffs. Well, 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 Matt, Is Luka going to bring Matt, you a title Matt, right see, now? See, I, here's the part that's starting to make me uncomfortable about comments about Kawhi Leonard. I believe that Kyle, Kawhi Leonard is a superstar. Mm -hmm. I believe that Kawhi Leonard is one of the top five players in the game. I think he's a, he's a man of good character. And by the way, that load management stuff, that ain't really applicable to him because those are real injuries yep. that he is dealing with. All right? He's not helping. And he's not telling everyone he's not, about all of them either. He's not telling everybody. Yeah. Well, I, we understand that. But here's what I think you're missing. Kawhi, first title, 
defense. Yep. But he was with this, uh, a, yeah. a well-oiled machine that was the San Antonio Spurs. Second title, you didn't go against the Monsters. They were they were an infirmary for crying out loud in Golden State last year. All right, I don't want to hear about Philly and their inexperienced selves. I don't want to hear it. Freak I don't want to hear it. Hold on. Who told you about Milwaukee? The freak Who told you about Milwaukee? Well, they ran no, no, into no, Kawhi. Tell, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute now. I told you about Milwaukee. I said that Greek Freak and his perimeter game was going to be a question mark. And I told you those big boys up there, whether they Go Are you not. saying and because the goal was there any team that was going to beat the Golden State Warriors at full health last year? No one. Okay, so no why one. are you holding that against because Kawhi? Because what I'm trying to because what I'm saying is when you are a champion, those things come into consideration. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to say to you is this: Luca might very well be he might very well be the dude that you're describing against somebody other than Kawhi. Yeah, there's like if you come only to one time, all NBA him. performer on the Mavs. Obviously, we know there's two on the Clippers. The Clippers have the chance, Max, to make history to have four players averaging 19 points. That's the first Do time that's agree? ever happened. Yeah, sure. He's Do, on a way better but, team. Oh, but, but again, everyone misconstrues this argument. You're penalizing him for his teammates. Here's the bottom line. Do we believe if you have Kawhi as the focal point of your team, whoever else you have, you're probably going to make the playoffs? And I would say the same thing with Luca. They're both tremendous this way. Now put each on a team with other All-Stars. Which team is more likely to win the whole thing? The team with the, with the all-world two-time finals MVP who's one of the greatest defenders ever and an elite offensive player? Right. Or the 20-year-old yeah. who's doing amazing all things right. but doesn't defend But yet. we're not disagreeing yeah. with you with there about Kawhi. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.